Item number SCP-173-JP Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-173-JP is to be downsized as much as possible by thorough destruction and be contained in a completely soundproof locked chamber. Currently, it has been confirmed that SCP-173-JP can be reduced in size to approximately 30 centimeters in length. However, personnel should note that SCP-173-JP's anomalous properties are active regardless of its size. All personnel are prohibited from entering the containment chamber, except for except for D-class personnel for testing. Monitoring, maintenance, and observation of his chamber must be done with automatic or remote control board machinery. Description SCP-173-JP is redacted, composed of a large amount of toys that seem to be made in Japan. It always tends to take on the appearance of a stylized dinosaur, regardless of its own size. While a link to data expunge was suggested, no conclusive information has been obtained. SCP-173-JP is autonomous. It is capable of walking while emitting the sound described as clattering and rattling of body constituting toys colliding with each other, as well as redacted sometimes. If a human subject continues to be directly exposed to this sound, they lose their wariness and attempts to approach SCP-173-JP. Upon reaching SCP-173-JP, the subject begins to rummage through the toys, which can be easily pushed aside without falling off of SCP-173-JP's main body. The subject ignores the pressure from the surrounding toys and soil to build further into SCP-173-JP. Eventually, the subject's body is fully engulfed into SCP-173-JP, no matter how small its original size is. Redacted, the mass of SCP-173-JP increases by the corresponding amount. Since the origin of SCP-173-JP was redacted, it only managed to destroy a single village. The cost of amnestic administration and cover-up for the entire region of redacted was minimal. However, even at this point of initial containment, the length of SCP-173-JP at its maximum size was an estimated 75 meters. It has been confirmed that mechanically recorded or relayed sounds of SCP-173-JP have no effect on humans. During past experiments, D-class personnel entered into SCP-173-JP while claiming that the precious toys, memorable toys, lost toys, nostalgic toys, or the toys they once wanted were inside SCP-173-JP in a unique case. A D-class was recorded to state that he wanted to see a lot more of this fun stuff before being absorbed into SCP-173-JP.